lot of demonstrators turning out and it's been pretty intense with the police tear gas and water cannon used from the get-go from 3 p.m. onwards. The protesters are dividing off into smaller groups. The police actually are often dividing them deliberately into smaller groups down to smaller roads. But what's happening is that they keep regrouping and protesting again. And this is clear that this protest is very much prohibited. The Interior Ministry has made that very clear. They do not want a repeat of the violence that was seen in 2014, um, during the summer of 2014, when a pro-Palestine protest took place here in Paris, in the north of Paris. I have to say, though, the demonstrators that I've spoken to said they're really keen for this demonstration to happen, but also in a peaceful manner. They're not looking for a fight. They want to try and keep things calm. We were in the middle of filming a soundbite with a woman who said that, but just at that moment, the police did make a charge where we were standing. We had to move on quite quickly. Where we are right now is a little bit calmer, but we never know in the next few minutes, in the next few minutes, up the roads and the smaller streets around here in the north of Paris, all these very small roads, protesters sometimes come up or the police suddenly charge and all of a sudden we're surrounded by tear gas. So it's, it's a very tense situation at the moment here in the north of Paris.